In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add a website to Google Analytics using the GA4 property setup. This will enable you to track and understand your website's traffic and interactions in an insightful manner. Let's get started. First things first, head over to analytics.google.com and log into your account. Once you're in, you'll notice an admin icon at the bottom left of the page. Go ahead and click on that. This is where you'll manage your various Google Analytics settings and properties. Now you'll see three columns on this admin page, Account, Property, and View. Focus on the Account column first. If you already have an existing account, select that one. If not, you'll want to click on Create Account to set up a new one. It's important to choose the right account, as it will be the container for all your properties and data streams. Next, you'll move your attention to the Property column. Here, you'll need to click on Create Property. This step is pivotal for setting up your new GA4 property. You'll be prompted to fill in some essential details. Start by entering a property name, something straightforward like My Site GA4 Works Well. Your time zone and currency settings are equally important since they will dictate how your data is reported. Optionally, you can provide business details such as industry type, business size, and reporting intent. Once you fill in these fields, click Create to move forward. Moving on, it's time to add your website to this newly created property as a data stream. Stay in the Admin page under the Property column and select Data Streams. You'll be given platform options, and since we're working with a website, you'll choose Web. Now, you need to enter your website's URL. Remember to include the full address starting with HTTPS. Additionally, you'll name your stream. Calling it something like My Site Stream is intuitive. Before progressing, make sure to keep the Enhanced Measurement option turned on. Why? This feature automatically tracks interactions such as scrolls, clicks, and video views which enriches the data you'll receive on your website without needing additional setup. After reviewing the details, click on Create Stream. After this step, you'll be directed to a new page where a measurement ID is generated. This ID is crucial as it uniquely identifies your website within Google Analytics, helping to ensure that your data is funneled into the right property. Make a note of this ID. You might need it later for advanced website integration techniques. And there you have it. By following these steps, you've successfully added your website to Google Analytics. Now you can start tracking visitor interactions and gain valuable insights to improve your online presence. Thank you for watching, and remember to check back for more helpful guides on optimizing your digital strategies.